Hello friends, in this video we'll introduce Trello which is a software that we have used very successfully for managing complex software development, managing small projects and agile software development. So if you are an engineering team or a software engineering team who needs to manage a sprint or a backlog, this is the video for you. And this is the complete guide. After seeing this video, you'll have a complete idea of how to do it. So the first step is to create a board. So if you see here, we create a board and then you can, you can also create a workspace but we start with board and first you need a board type so say we say 11 box board just for an example and we assign it to our workspace and then this is important visibility if you want the board to be available to anybody on google like say if you're a public company and you want to expose certain parts of your development you can make it public workspace only members of the current workspace can see an item private is only board members can see an item so workspace is the recommended visibility and we usually use that and then if you want a template then you can select the background so we'll go with this background for now so after you have entered a name uh, set it the workspace you can click on create now we have our lemon box board and as in a usual sprint setup you will have a backlog you can have a backlog and then you can have a current current sprint then in progress and uh, ready for testing just for example and then complete this is an example and then say now you think about how to create a story so you do add card and say over here is develop a search bar for example and one more can be develop filtering so now I have two cards and now if you want to add details to this card, so I can say that should, should search the entire database. This is one example. So after I have added the details, I can also add an image to this ticket via attachments. So and I can choose from where I want to attach it. And then I can assign it to some. For now, I'll, I'll assign it to myself. And I can also choose a date. Say I want it done by April 15th. I can send that date and also a start. So say the start date is April 11 and do save. And one important thing to know is that there are reminders here, which is, which is very good. So it automatically prompts your team to complete the work one day before. And you can also label it. So if say this is a part of a new launch, you can create a label and this helps you to stay organized. So now I've created a label here. And then see once it's picked up in this place. I can move it to current space. And just to show the power of label, if I go to filter and I say uh, filter by labels, and then I can select new launch, it will show me just that ticket and to hide the other ticket. And then I can remove this. And then say once the current sprint is done, then I can move it to in progress and then from in progress to ready for testing and so on. Now, if I want to add a teammate to this board, how do I do that? So I can do it via the share button. And over here, there are two options. If you know your teammate's email ID, which is usually the case, so you can just enter that, that ID and do share. And that way, the teammate would be invited to the board. Or second is you can just, if you want to invite a bunch of people, then you can do create link, copy link, and then you can share. And here you have options of join as a member. In this case, he can edit or she can edit and contribute or join as an observer. And obviously, once you're done, you can delete the link for safety reasons. And the other thing that we want to cover is power ups. So, if you want any additional features, then you can just do you can add power. Ups. So, for example, one feature we find very helpful is the calendar power. Up. If you want to see all your tickets in one one view, then you can add the calendar power. Up. And then this starts appearing and as you keep on adding tickets, your tickets will be available in the calendar. As you can see, developer search bar is available here. And if you, if you click on it, you can see who's available and so on. You can also add comments like what is the latest on this ticket. And then your teammate can update it. And do notice that when you add a comment, you can add comments. So now, say you have been, and obviously this has like a week and a month, depending on, on what you want. And then see like this ticket is now ready for being 
developed, then you can follow the same process. In fact, you can sign it a date, you can assign a team member, and I'm, I'm just doing this quickly to bring up about the point and 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 uh, and so on. Okay. So now the other important thing is that if you have completed it and now you want to start a new split, then either you can start a new backlog over here. That is one way. Or you can take this and you can archive this. Archive this. List. So you can archive this list that have that has already been done so that it, that way when you when somebody else logs on, he will just see the new, he or she will see the new list, not the not the old list. Another very important function here that we really we use quite a bit is about how to copy a card. So if there are multiple boards in a project, like say for the front end and the API part, then you can copy a card. And that way you can choose another board. For instance, I'm choosing board one here, and I will copy the card there into board one. And that way, now we have two copies of the card, and both front-end and back-end can work on that card. And I briefly talked about the filtering, but it's a very powerful feature. Like, say, if you want to search for search bar, you hit hit uh, hit. Uh, say you want to search for like search, uh, then it will search in the members' due date and label mine. So, if you search for say my name, then you can pick that all ticket assigned to me, and you will see the ones that are. So now the last part I, I want to show is the copying or the moving of the board that I just did. So if I go to my workspace, if I go to my workspace and I see to go to board one, so this is where I had moved this ticket of, of uh, developing filtering and now it's available. And you can see now you can see time left and so on is is uh, is also there. and. You can add reactions and so on to it. So, so in summary, that is how Trello works, and this is a very basic summary. You can see our other videos to see more inline features and specific features. Thank you.